Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. In recent years, the United States has passed chip bills and initiated chip restrictions, which has brought a lot of resistance to China's chip industry. But the impact is not limited to China, other regions are also affected, and even giants such as ASML and TSMC are the first to bear the brunt. For this reason, Europe followed the United States in providing subsidies to support chip development, but the three major European chip giants said that although they would comply with US regulatory rules, they would not stop their business in China. Recently, the three major European giants spoke again, and the situation suddenly changed. The three major European chip giants are Infineon of Germany, ST Microelectronics, and NXP of the Netherlands. These three chip companies are not mentioned much in China, not because they are not well known, but because the three basically do not involve advanced process chips. Infineon, ST Microelectronics, and NXP are mainly suppliers of automotive, power control, and industrial chips. They are all considered to be old European chip giants. Although they are mainly based on mature processes, they also have a certain position in the industry especially in the automotive semiconductor market. The three companies occupy the top three, with a combined market share of more than one-third of the world. However, from a global perspective, the chip production capacity of Europe and the United States has continued to decline in recent years. The United States has less than 12%, and Europe accounts for even less, only about 8%. The existence is getting smaller and smaller, so the United States subsidized the chip industry, and Europe is also in a hurry to follow. However, the attitude of the European Union is very disappointing. Not only does it not have its own opinions, but it has always followed the United States and responded to its chip restrictions. It has even reached a certain agreement with the United States to jointly investigate the impact of mature process chips in the mainland. In response, ASML of the Netherlands issued a warning to the European Union, worrying that the development of other countries' chips is wrong and should pay more attention to itself. The reason why ASML reacted in this way is that it was deeply harmed by the chip restrictions of the United States. Not only did the Dutch government fail to withstand the pressure from the United States, it reached a tripartite agreement with the United States and began to implement export controls, and even the European Union had no opposition at all. The United States first restricted the export of EUV to China and later targeted immersion DUV, restricting the shipment of advanced models of DUV. You know, the mainland may be an important shipment market for ASML. 29% of sales in 2023 came from the mainland and the proportion in the first three quarters of 2024 reached 49%. Even if ASML can only ship mature processes, the mainland market is very important. Without support behind it, ASML can only bear huge losses, but it is not reconciled. Therefore, the president of ASML directly warned the United States that the U.S. export control is a destruction of the global semiconductor supply chain and will only accelerate the mainland breakthrough. ASML not only represents itself, but also represents the emotions of many companies who all hope to conduct business activities fairly. 
For this reason, when Trump won the election and was about to take office, the CEOs of three European chip giants, Infineon, ST Microelectronics, and NXP of the Netherlands, rarely gathered together to discuss the US chip bill and express their concerns and dissatisfaction. The US chip bill was introduced during Biden's tenure, and Trump had a lot of opinions about it and clearly expressed opposition, saying that it was a very bad plan. The Speaker of the US House of Representatives also hinted that Trump might repeal the bill after taking office. Therefore, the three major European chip giants took the opportunity to fan the flames, saying that the US chip bill would only exacerbate the division of the global chip market and affect the semiconductor supply chain. Not only could it not curb the development of the mainland chip industry, but it would also harm the interests of all parties. The point is that the chip bill will not only not allow the United States to dominate the chip industry, but will make their companies lose more market share. This is indeed the case. The United States' imposition of chip restrictions on China seems to be a stranglehold on China's chip development, but in fact it also strangles the necks of American and allied companies. They are forced to give up exports to China and lose the opportunity to enter the largest market. Biden's vigorous promotion of the chip bill is actually a way to impose restrictions in a lose-lose manner, and the result is naturally imaginable. The collective determination of the three major European giants undoubtedly provided Trump with some help when he intended to repeal the chip bill. Although repealing the chip bill is a blessing for all parties, Trump is not a reassuring master. Because Trump has long stated that he will increase tariffs as soon as he takes office, not only on China, but also on other countries and regions. This also worries the three major European chip giants, but their largest market is not in the United States, but in the mainland. Although the chip bill does not directly restrict certain chip companies, the United States directly interferes in the global semiconductor industry, resulting in market divisions, rising costs, and increased tariffs, which will also affect other companies, so no one wants to see it. TSMC founder Morris Chang recently reiterated that globalization and free trade are dead, which is basically what he meant.